हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ पटेल रूपल फ्रॉम महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी लर्नड होमोजेनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड रिड्यूसेबल होमोजेनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टुडे वी विल लर्न लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड रिड्यूसेबल लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ the linear differential equation a differential equation of the form dy by dx plus py is equal to q this is the equation number 1 is called the first order linear differential equation where p and q are function of x or constant now equation 1 can be rewrite dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x okay if differential equation 1 is said to be homogeneous if q equal to 0 otherwise it is said to be non homogeneous now in a example the given differential equation is a linear differential equation then we can solve this differential equation using the working rule the first rule is write the equation in the form dy by dx plus pyx is equal to qx or dx by dy plus pyx is equal to qy second find if if that means integrating factor find if is equal to e raised to integration p dx or indic or if is equal to e raised to integration p dy third rule is the general solution is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integration q integrating factor into dx plus c or x into integrating factor is equal to integration q integrating factor dy plus c that means suppose the equation we have to given in the form d, dy by dx plus py is equal to q the first form the second is find the integrating factor is equal to e raised to integration p dx and third the general solution general solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor into dx plus c and suppose the given equation is the form dy by dx plus px is equal to q then the integrating factor is equal to e raised to integration p dy and the general solution is x into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor into dy plus c now the examples number 1 solve dy by dx plus 1 upon x square into y is equal to 6 into e raised to 1 upon x solution given dy by dx plus 1 upon x square y is equal to 6 e raised to 1 upon x is a linear equation this is the most imp if the given equation is a linear then we have to use the working rule here compare the equation dy by dx plus py is equal to q therefore here p is equal to 1 upon x square and q is equal to 
e raised to 1 upon x. Now find integrating factor. Therefore, if is equal to e raised to integration p dx is equal to e raised to integration 1 upon x square dx. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to. Now, we know that integration 1 upon x square dx is equal to minus 1 upon x. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to e raised to minus 1 upon x. Therefore, the general solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, put the integrating factor and q. Therefore, y into e raised to minus 1 upon x is equal to integration 6 into e raised to 1 upon x into e raised to minus 1 upon x dx plus c. Therefore, y into e raised to minus 1 upon x is equal to, now 6 is a constant and outside the integration. Therefore, 6 integration, now e raised to 1 upon x into e raised to minus 1 upon x is e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1. Therefore, 6 into integration 1 dx plus c. Therefore, y into e raised to minus 1 upon x is equal to 6x plus c. Therefore, y is equal to 6x plus c into e raised to 1 upon x is the answer. Now, same as the next example. Solve x into log x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 2 log x. Now, if the linear equation, the given equation is a linear equation, then the coefficient of dy by dx is compulsory 1. Here, the coefficient of dy by dx is x log x. Therefore, we have to divide by x log x on both the side. Therefore, rewrite the equation as dy by dx plus y upon x log x is equal to 2 log x divided by x log x. Therefore, dy by dx plus 1 upon x into log x into y is equal to. Now, this log x log x is cancelled. Therefore, 2 divided by x. Now, this is dy by dx plus p y is equal to q form. Therefore, this equation is a linear equation. Therefore, here p is equal to 1 upon x into log x and q is equal to 2 upon x. Now, find the integrating factor. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to e raised to integration p dx. Now, put the value of p. Therefore, e raised to integration 1 over x log x dx. Now, Integration 1 upon x log x is equal to log into log x. Now we have to use here integration f dash x divided by f of x dx is equal to log x. Now we can write here integration 1 upon x divided by log x. Now we know that derivative of log x is 1 upon x. Therefore, Integration 1 upon x divided by log x dx is equal to log of log x. Now, e raised to log is cancelled out. Therefore, only log x. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to log x. Therefore, the solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor dx plus c. Therefore, y into, put the value of integrating factor and q. Therefore, y into log x is equal to integration log x into 2 divided by x dx plus c. Now, y into log x is equal, now 2 is a constant and outside integration. Therefore, 2 integration 1 upon x into log x dx plus c. 
Now here we have to use the formula. Integration f dash x into f dash to n x dx is equal to f dash to n plus 1 x plus c. Now here one derivative of log x is 1 upon x and here degree is 1. Therefore, we can write here log x raised to 2. That means log x square. Therefore, y into log x is equal to 2 into log x square plus c. This is the required solution. Now, similarly, one example. Then this example is an initial condition example. Now, solve y dash plus y into 10x is equal to sine 2x. And the condition is y of 0 is equal to 1. That means here x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. Now, given y dash plus y 10x is equal to sine 2x is a linear equation. Therefore, here p is equal to 10x and q is equal to sine 2x. Now find the integrating factor. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to e raised to integration p dx is equal to. Now, integration 10x dx is equal to log sec x. Therefore, e raised to log into sec x. Now, e, e raised to log is cancelled out. Therefore, only sec x. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to sec x. Therefore, the solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor dx plus c. Now put the value of integrating factor and q. Therefore, y into sec x is equal to integration sine 2x into sec x into dx is e plus c. Therefore, y into sec x is equal to integration. Now we know that sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x into cos x. Therefore, integration 2 sin x into cos x into. Now we know that sec x is equal to 1 upon cos x. Therefore, 1 upon cos x into dx plus c. Now the cos x is cancelled out. There and 2 is constant and outside the integrator. Therefore, y into sec x is equal to 2 integration sin x dx plus c. Therefore, y into sec x is equal to. Now, integration of sin x is minus cos x. Therefore, minus 2 cos x plus c. Therefore, y is equal to minus 2 cos x plus c divided by sec x. Therefore, y is equal to minus 2. Now, 1 upon sec is cos. Therefore, minus 2 cos square x plus c into cos x. Therefore, y is equal to c cos x minus 2 cos square x. This is the equation number 1. Now, we have to give one initial condition. Now, using the initial condition, we find the constant c. Therefore, the given initial condition is y of 0 is equal to 1. That means y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. Now, therefore, put this value in equation 1. Therefore, equation 1 becomes 1 is equal to c cos 0 minus 2 cos square 0. Therefore, 1 is equal to c into 1 minus 2 into 1 square because cos 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to c minus 2. Therefore, c is uh, 1 plus 2 is equal to c. Therefore, c is equal to 3. Now, put c is equal to 3 in equation number 1. Therefore, equation 1 becomes y is equal to 3 cos x minus 2 cos square x. This is the required solution. Now, equation reducible to the linear form is also known as Bernoulli's equation. Okay. The differential equation of the form dy by dx plus 
py is equal to q y raised to n this is the equation number 1 okay now we know that the differential equation is dy by dx plus py is equal to q only here extra is y raised to n therefore is called a bernoulli equation where p and q are constant or function of x now suppose we have to give one the bernoulli equation then how to solve the bernoulli equation therefore now the dividing y raised to n on both these side in equation 1 therefore y 1 upon y raised to n dy by dx plus p into y divided by y raised to n is equal to q into y raised to n divided by y raised to n therefore rewrite 1 upon y raised to n therefore 1 upon y raised to n can write y raised to minus n therefore y raised to minus n into dy by dx plus p into y raised to 1 minus y here y raised to n will be cancel out therefore is equal to q this is the equation number 2 now the linear equation has the dy by dx coefficient is 1 therefore we take y raised to 1 upon n is equal to v then differential with respect to x we get 1 minus n into y raised to 1 minus n minus 1 into dy by dx is equal to dv by dx we have to use here d by dx of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 form therefore here plus 1 minus 1 will be cancel out therefore 1 minus n into y raised to minus n into dy by dx is equal to dv by dx but here only y raised to minus n dy by dx we require therefore y raised to minus n dy by dx is equal to 1 over 1 minus n into dv by dx therefore now put y raised to 1 minus n is equal to v and y raised to minus n dy by dx is equal to 1 over 1 minus n into dv by dx in equation 2 therefore equation 2 becomes 1 over 1 minus n dv by dx plus p into v is equal to q now take the lcm on both the side therefore dv by dx plus 1 minus n p into v is equal to 1 minus n into q is a linear e differential equation like dy by dx plus p y is equal to q here form is v there here p is equal to 1 minus n into p and q is equal to 1 minus n into q now we have to find the integrating factor and so the the general solution now one example solve x into dy by dx plus y into log y is equal to x y into e raised to x now we know that p and q are constant or function of only x here we have to given x y e raised to x that means y extra therefore now here dy by dx coefficient is x that means we have to dividing by x y therefore dividing by x y on both this side we get x divided by xy divide by dx plus y into log y divide by xy is equal to xy e raised to x divide by xy now one x is cancel out here therefore one upon y divide by dx plus one y is cancel out therefore one upon x into log y is equal to now xy xy cancel out therefore e raised to x this is the equation number 1 now 
we have to put log y is equal to z. The differential with respect to x, we get 1 upon y dy by dx is equal to dz by dx. Now, we have to put log y and 1 upon y dy by dx in equation 1. Therefore, equation 1 becomes dz by dx plus 1 upon x into z is equal to e raised to x is a linear equation. Therefore, here p is equal to 1 upon x and q is equal to e raised to x. Now, we have to find the integrating factor. Therefore, if is equal to e raised to integration p dx. Therefore, e raised to log. Therefore, e raised to integration 1 upon x dx. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to e raised to log x is equal to x. Therefore, integrating factor is equal to x. Now, the general solution is z into integrating factor is equal to q integration q into integrating factor dx plus c because here equation is z and x variable therefore the general solution is z into integrating factor is equal to integration q into integrating factor dx plus c now put integrating factor and q therefore z into x is equal to integration e raised to x into x dx plus c. Therefore, x into z is equal to, now we have to use here u into v formula. Therefore, x integration e raised to x dx minus integration of integration of e raised to x dx into d by dx of x into dx plus c. Otherwise, we have to use here Leibniz rule. Therefore, x into z is equal to x e raised to x. Now, we have to solve this equation. Therefore, x integration of e raised to x is e raised to x minus integration of integration of e raised to x is e raised to x and derivative of x with respect to x is 1 dx plus c. Therefore, x into z is equal to x into e raised to x minus integration of e raised to x is e raised to x plus c. Therefore, x into z is equal to, now here e raised to x is common. Therefore, x minus 1 into e raised to x plus c. Therefore, z is equal to x minus 1 divided by x into e raised to x plus c divided by x. Now, put the value of z. We know that z is equal to log y. Therefore, log y is equal to x minus 1 divided by x into e raised to x plus c divided by x is the required solution. Now, the next video lecture we will learn the exact differential equation method. Thank you.